Way back in 1999, Sue and Martin planned to transform a pair of ancient barns into a modern family home. There's a 1600s barn, which is built of half stone, half cob, and then there's yeah. the 1850s barn, which is mainly all stone. They had an ethos ahead of their time, bringing together traditional local building techniques with cutting-edge energy-efficient technology. That's incredible. It's too hot to touch. The budget's going up because we're making, in some areas, more rather than less expensive choices. Their approach was unconventional. No plans, no spec, just gut instinct. And the help of a spiritual homemaker consultant, of course. What were you two up to just around the corner then? We were meditating. On what? The interior of the house. Uh-huh. But the old buildings had a few tricks up their sleeve. Torrential rain meant the lime mortar simply washed away. And spiralling costs forced them to bid farewell to their contractor. If you're going to take it all on yourself, it's going to take years. It is frustrating. After two years in a caravan, the family moved into what was effectively still a building site. I'd rather stay in the caravan longer, completely exhausting. You can see the end of the tunnel, you can see the light there, but boy, it is not fun living in a tunnel. I'm back after two decades to see what's become of Sue and Martin's home. That is quite beautiful. The windows glint and the house commands the hillside as though it's been here forever, which it sort of has. 20 Not, years. I know. Are you finished? We are. We are finished, Kevin. <laughs> We've got the completion certificate to prove it. Everything. <laughs> There's no ceilings, no floors to go in. There's, all the walls are there. It's actually a complete house. Your first encounter with the old place is the light-filled hallway. That is glorious, great skylight. And then up into a series of roomy living spaces. Yes. How very lovely. <laughs> it feels like, you know, it's been properly lived in and continues to be properly lived in. That is a table that's seen a lot of meals. This yeah. is the table that you brought with you we to, brought the, with to the house. And then with that view out the window, it's, it's ideal. No, it is, so, I mean, for a barn conversion, we're very, very lucky. We've got a lot of large openings, so the light is very, very good. This is a home lovingly, painstakingly, time-consumingly transformed. When I was last here, half the living area was consigned to workshop space. Now it's resplendent with 20 years of devoted care. It's been slowly furnished and decorated with the work of friends and family. The floors have been polished smooth by many feet, and heirlooms rub shoulders with paintings by their son, Robin. There be design dragons here. Oh, fire breathing. Beautifully wrought. Time has allowed Sue and Martin to craft this place with care. There are now five comfortable bedrooms, connected via a skylit corridor. It's a complex house, full of raw materials, curves, changes in level, and no fewer than three staircases. I had reservations about Sue and Martin's evolutionary approach to building, but it's allowed the place to morph and absorb new roles as time goes on. It is a privilege to be able to chart the life of a family over 20 years. It's something that television doesn't normally get to do. Although in one sense, the building inspector's visit draws the project to a close. To Sue and Martin, their home doesn't have a completion date. It is, of course, an ever-changing expression of who they are.